Hello everyone, I am back um, to share another video with you uh, for a interior add-on that I just received from Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and show you here in a second. Uh, this is for my 21 Ridgeline. And... This is the sport edition. So as you can see, it's you know, not um, upgraded in the interior as much. It's not bad, but um, you know, I've done my own little red accents here um, to tie in with the sport theme. But I wanted to dress it up a little bit more and I am a big, carbon fiber fan and I was very excited to see that um, the pieces finally were um, created for the ridge line and uh, these are the pieces that I purchased so far I didn't purchase the entire set I wasn't sure of the quality um, of the carbon fiber and the trim pieces but as you can see, um, I did order quite a few um, that will highlight my dashboard and my um, side doors. So I'm going to show you what I, what pieces I got here. Uh, these two are the rear pieces that go on the armrest for the window. This one I was really excited to see that they came out with. That's the um, steering wheel trim. The dashboard. I mean, not the dash, the center console. And the front uh, trim. And I will go right there. So I'm going to take these out of the package. Um, so far, I mean, this is... I've done these installations in my previous um, cars that I've owned. Um, so they're pretty simple to do. They're molded. So, you know, it's not like you're wrapping it. Um, so they are molded um, ABS plastic trims that just go right over. And with, they come already with the 3M tape. So all you do is peel and stick. However, you do need to do some prep work. Um, so like the pieces there, the center console, I just, you know, wiped it down with um, hot water and a little bit of dish soap, um, dried it up. And then I will uh, rub some rubbing alcohol over the pieces uh, prior to, um, laying them on there uh, with the 3M tape. Uh, but the rubbing alcohol uh, will clean up the, the plastic and um, um, have it prepped for so that it gets a good uh, seal uh, between the pieces there, the plastic and the 3M tape. All right, so let's go ahead and get started all right so like I said um, I'm gonna go ahead and get all this you want to get the all this cleaned up and the final cleanup step that I always do before adding anything with adhesive is that I am um, Take the rubbing alcohol, put it on a paper towel, and I will wipe it all over the pieces that, especially the edges, you want to make sure that you're wiping it all the way over um, of where you know the um, glue is going to stick on. Alright. Alright, so 
so all right look at that that is isn't that nice that will really dress up the interior of your ridge line i don't know if you like carbon fiber um but i love it i think it looks elegant sporty i mean it's a little bit of everything um and that's how it comes so this is gonna i'm gonna dry fit it here and that's what it looks like once it's on so it's pretty really good fit and it looks like it's gonna have some it's got one there got one piece of tape here one piece of tape on the top one there one there and then obviously all around the edges and there's gonna be two there so you want to make sure once you take the tape off that you are pressing down in those spots Once I take the tape off, I'm just going to press down with my carbon fiber <coughs> rag. But, so here it goes. I'll go ahead and take off the peel back. Now, some people will only take half of it off like this and I've done that too which I may do now but when you set it down obviously I'm going to take all these little ones off right away And obviously you want to make sure that it's not too cold out. I don't know where you're located at. I'm in Florida, so right now it's around 70 degrees, so it's not cold, obviously. I'm going to leave that like that for now. I'll show you what I mean. Take that off. All of these little ones are usually hard to take off. Peel back. There we go. Got one little one left here. you could tell what I'm doing because I just propped the, my phone up so that uh, I could do this. So what I'm talking about is usually people leave this much and then they'll peel out, peel it off. So, but being that this piece is going to sit right on top from the get-go, I'm just going to lay it down. And it just sits right in. And I'm going to press down. And it does feel like it just grabbed. It just really needs to sit there. I'm not gonna press too hard because obviously I don't want to take the chance of cracking it. So basically I'm just massaging it. And 
especially in the points where I remember the glue being. And it's on there, guys. So, got my little pointer there. So I had two little strips here, one there, one there, and then all along here. Let me know what you think. How do you think it looks? So let me give you a close up. Look at that. Just to give you an idea. So this is the carbon fiber. That's the black trim that comes with the truck, which is nice too. Now they sell that piece. I did not purchase this piece because I kind of like the black. Um, and I wanted to see what the actual carbon fiber looks like. Now, I may end up getting it. Right now, I got this piece that's I'm gonna install next. Um, but we will see. Let me put this piece on first and see if it it's a match or if it contrasts any. But I think it's gonna tie in pretty well. So let's get that one going all right so the next piece is gonna go around this trim here <clears throat> and we'll see how it contrasts with the gloss black that comes with the vehicle so let me get this out So I'm gonna prep it and place it on and I will show you the final product. All right, so this is what it looks like. So there is a piece that goes here, which I did not order, but I'm really liking this. So there's how it looks combined. So I am gonna go and on and order this. And once again, I got this from Amazon. Um, it's very cool. Let me know what you think. Should I get this around? It goes all around here um, in carbon fiber as well, or should I leave it with the gloss black? I mean, it looks good. It matches. And I like the gloss as well. Obviously, I love the carbon fiber. Um, we'll see. I'm going to get this piece. Um, they also have the piece for that one and that. I already ordered the surround for here. I didn't order that with this order because, like I said, I wanted to see how it looks. Next piece going on is this one here. Um, there's also a small piece that goes here, which I did not order, but um, I did order this one. I did not order that yet. There's one that goes here too, um, but I did order this one. It hasn't come in yet, and I may order this one too since I'm going to put this, and I'm probably going to order that too. Um, so let me go ahead and get this one installed 
and I'll move on to these here. I'm not gonna show every install because this, all you do is clean it up, take the tape off, and press it on. Um, so I will come back once I've completed the entire pieces that I have left here, which is, let me see, four pieces for the door and the steering wheel. So once I'm complete, I will show the final product. All right, guys, so I'm com I've completed the install for the carbon fiber trims here's the rear so as you could see this is the cover I got that came for the rear looks really good really nice touch in my opinion now they do sell a piece that goes around here so oops, I got my pointer so I will be ordering that because I do like how it looks. So I'm gonna dress this little area up. There's the um, trim on the passenger side. Install. Let me give you a back view from here so you could see that's now carbon fiber so is this and as I mentioned they have a piece for this but I did not order it I wanted to see how these pieces came out first and I'm still not decided decisive on that however I did order this piece that goes here There's the steering wheel. Let me go around. Here's the driver's side window trim. Also really cool looking. And the steering wheel. As you can see, I had already purchased the uh, red carbon fiber inlay for the steering wheel. I think that's cool. Get that little red pop there. We're going with my red trim. And there is the steering wheel trim. That came out really nice. So once again, I purchased these pieces from Amazon. Um, I'm very satisfied with them. Very nice, very good quality ABS. Um, I'm ob obviously it's not real carbon fiber. Um, this whole entire set that I've just installed. So we're talking about steering wheel, AC trim, console, shifter trim, and the four pieces of the window front and back so that's what four five six seven pieces um, came out to $160 um, I ordered these that are coming so I ordered this and this so it's another $40 the back AC that I showed you, that's, an, I think it's $30. This one's either 40 or 50 just by itself. And, you know, this one was a big chunk too. So, so for the um, seven pieces that I just installed was 160, just so you get an idea. It's a little pricey, um, but it is not a overlay um it is plastic trim that goes on and it's molded so it fits perfectly as you saw you know you just set it on and tape it on 
So there you go. <clears throat> so you see what it looks like from far. So now my next interior modification will be to get some leather seats. I'm still not sure if I will go with all red leather or if I'll do the black with the red diamond pattern st stitching and inserts and the kind of black and red or if I'm going to go all red inside. I'm not sure yet. But um, I most likely will go with catskin leather because I want it to look you know, professionally done, um, just to spruce up my interior since this is the sport. All right, guys, there you go. Thank you for watching. I will keep you posted with my extra add-ons as I get them ordered and in. Thank you for watching. Any questions or suggestions, what your thoughts are, Please leave me a comment, like, and subscribe for more content on my 21 Ridgeline Sport.